Hey guys, good Saturday evening to you. Johnny Sunshine coming to you live from the pool deck. Let's see what we Yeah, just got out of the pool. It's uh, almost 7 o'clock and it the feels like temperature is still pretty close to 100 degrees. Uh, but the humidity's down. It's not that bad. Uh, it's it's um, it's actually pretty comfortable out here. Uh, just chilling out. Ain't got much to to. Hey, my nose is healing up really good, man. Uh, it was a very deep wound, man, and I didn't deal with it right from the beginning. I've had this thing on the tip of my nose for at least four or five months, man. I remember the job that it happened on, and that's been a long time. I was putting a water heater in, and I had to pull a couple fittings off, and when I did that, a ball of solder came flying off and landed right on my friggin' nose, man, and just sizzled right through like 22 or 23 layers of skin, almost pierced my nose. That's all I fucking need is a blowhole in my fucking nostril. Put a put a ring in it. <laughs> I love the way I laugh. I don't know where that's coming from. Fucking WC feel. <laughs> Anyways, guys, listen, man. I think let's see what what the date is. I got two phones here. I got my bag up, my bag up brain here. Let's see here. I think it's the 28th. Oh, it's the 29th. All right, guys. So listen. It's July 29th. I'm 11 subscribers, man, away from 4,000 subscribers, which is a great milestone for me. I was close. But I opened my mouth and I inserted my foot. Blew me back down a couple hundred. But I'm knocking on 4,000's door. I'm going to be 59 here in, in August. August 4th. And I think it would be a great gift for me to have 4,000. Just kind of goes with my birthday. August 4th. You know, the fours. I'm a numbers guy. I like numerology, but, uh, yeah, man, if you know anybody, I'll tell you what, if you can prove you're the 4,000th subscriber, what can I give you? I'll give you a low-flow aerator. Um... I'll give you a choice. I got like three or four things I can come up with. I got a, I give you a low flow aerator for a lavatory faucet, save some water. I can give you a uh, a brass cap with a washer, if you have a drippy hose bib, uh, somewhere. Uh, or I could give you a t-shirt, man. I got plenty of them. I could give you a game jersey. I could, you know, send you one that smells like me armpits and all after a good day's work that's a that's like a game jersey uh just let me know man i don't know how you can prove you're the four thousandth subscriber uh everybody's incognito on these things so you don't really know who's who and what's what but uh it's a beautiful night man very nice i just took a little nap my girlfriend uh, is not here tonight, which is, uh, not bad. It's not a bad thing, man, but she'll be back. And, uh, I'm thinking of going out to dinner. I love this place down the street, man. 20 bucks, I get myself a, a personal, uh, pepperoni pizza and a huge Greek salad, man. And I just gotta, the only gripe I have is they always forget the Kalamata olives and uh, what's a Greek salad without Kalamata olives man it just just a bunch of fucking lettuce man so I always have to say hey 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 before they leave 
just so they don't think I'm like fucking eating all the olives and then calling them in five minutes later and saying, hey, there's no olives in here. I know what's up. So I, I catch them right as they put the plate on the table. I start searching for olives. And I say, hey, hey, hey. Bring me some olives, please. <laughs> and I wonder why I don't have 4,000 subscribers yet. Yeah. Anyways, this is a very nice view. I went to a yard sale today. Uh... I got some great shit. It wasn't a yard sale. It was an estate sale. I was on my way to Home Depot uh, and and Walmart. They're right next door to each other. I have, I'm have. i going to have a new segment on my, uh, on my YouTube channel. I bought myself a whiteboard with a magic eraser, you know, the pen, so I can draw things out. Because, you know, every time I go on these stoppages and, and other jobs... Uh, sometimes it's hard for, you know, when they say a picture speaks a thousand words, that's, it's absolutely true. And, uh, so I'm going to be able to draw some of this stuff out, uh, and show you what I'm thinking and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, it's really, plumbing is a thinking man's trade. Uh, you know, you got to use the old cranium on, on some of this shit. And uh, most of the time, if you're having a problem, uh, it's because things weren't done right. And um, it's unfortunate. But then I will tell you, you know, this thing about closet flanges and they need to be, you know, above the tile. The problem with that down here, and it's fucked, the, the inspectors really need to get on the right page. Uh, they want to see that that... Um, flange is tap conned to the floor so there's there's two ways around it. so they so what's happening is when you do a tub set when you go in and you do the second rough you get all the vents out of the house stub everything out shower valves are in you have to put the flanges down uh that means you have to cut the four inch pipe coming up through the slab tap con the flange down the problem is uh, it's too low once they come in and tile depending on what tile they put on some of these places put that fucking one inch thick Mexican tile down and now you now you got to repair you got to come up with some some way to to raise that flange and I know they have things on the market but I see these guys using silicone and any kind of caulking on a dirty uh, flange that used to have wax on it you might as well just spit on that and put it together because that shit's not going to stick, man. You need to, like, clean that thing off with alcohol or something uh, and get it back to its original state. But so my, my solution to that is for the, for the... They either need to make flanges so that the flange is thicker up at the top, like maybe has a shoulder on it or something that'll stick down, sit on the cement... And it'll bring it up to accommodate, you know, a standard tile. Uh, or the inspectors need to let us put the flanges and trust that uh, we're going to screw it in, you know. And, uh, but I'll be honest with you, man. Down here on a slab, those screws are useless, man. That fucking four inch, when you got four inches of concrete wrapped around that four inch pipe, that thing ain't coming up. And if you're tugging on that, if you're tightening up your bolts so tight that you're snapping flanges, you're just an idiot. Uh, the bolts, the, the screws really don't have anything to do with it, in my opinion. On a second floor, that's a different issue. But when I used to rough in second floors, I'd always cut, take a drill with a hole saw, drill a 2x4 with a 3-inch hole saw, uh, and then cut it in half. Um, at the hole, cut that hole right in half and then measure out so that you could put that 2x4 on top of the pipe under the toilet and then screw through the floor into the top of that 2x4 and then put some strap iron around the bottom and that closet flange, is, that, that riser is never going to be pulled up to the bottom of the toilet squeezing out all the wax. 
Um, that's how I used to do it. I also, you know, I tap con them. I mean, not tap con, but I use long wood screws. And the other thing is, you know, on a second floor, if you're not using hole saws to drill out your toilets, uh, I see some guys, they go in there with these sawzalls and they, they're not good at it, man. These holes are so big that you just, there's nothing left to fucking screw down to. So, anyways, I'm getting on a little tangent on the closet flanges. I think we'll, we can all agree that my nose is coming around, man. So, anyways, I got this whiteboard I bought today because I want to be able to draw things out. I want to show you what I'm thinking. I want to show you on these stoppages uh, what my thinking is and why... Using the Super V, sometimes you have to you have to turn it on a little bit to get around a bend, and then I push it by hand until I can't push again, uh, and then I ease it in through whatever that is, most likely the sanitary T, and and using drop heads and all that stuff, and then and actually just determining uh, where the stoppage is, what's stopped up in the house. And where is the best point to attack that? Uh, so I think the whiteboard's going to be a good addition to the show. Um, and uh, I've been wanting to do that for a long time. But I went to like Office Max or something, one of those office places. And it was like 25 bucks, man, for a stupid little board, you know. And I went to home, I mean, uh, Walmart today, and they, you know, it's back to school week, man. These kids are in there getting all kinds of shit. And uh, I snuck in there and I bought a bunch of shit for myself. Some pencils and pens. And I even bought myself a backpack. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah, it's back to school. I think on the, I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming soon. Maybe they're already back to school for all I know. Uh, but anyways, guys, listen, man, I need 11 subscribers, man. If you got kids, if you got, uh, wives, girlfriends, let's see if we can get me over 4,000 tonight, man. That'd be a great gift, and, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate it, man. And when I went to this, uh, estate sale today kind of jumping all around I wasn't really prepared I just wanted to put something up but uh, I bought a pitchfork pretty heavy-duty pitchfork which is nice for picking up leaves uh, but this is this is a very heavy one more for like turning uh, soil over in a garden a short one uh, but I could always use that around here and I found a very nice old uh, tripod for a camera man three leg uh, short with a handle on it uh, for you know I am kind of collecting them since I got into this YouTube shit I've got so many tripods and uh, just trying to figure out where this camera is guys I don't have an issue with eye contact What else did I buy? Oh, in a fucking birdhouse, man. I bought a, the guy, whoever whoever was there, the guy had like 20 birdhouses on the back porch, man, on his lanai. Oh, I just pooped. Uh, and I think I got the nicest one, man. There was a lot of scuffling back there, a lot of people, and I just fucking made a beeline for the best one. I, I did knock two old ladies over. And had the had the kneecap, uh, one lady's husband. But I got the one I wanted, and I got the hell out of there. A tripod, a pitchfork, and a fucking birdhouse. I think I'll end on that. All right, guys, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments, and uh, to all the guys out there who are doing YouTube videos, and the guys who are. Uh, sharing their knowledge in the comment section man it's really it I think it's a great thing for our our trade this is something that we couldn't we weren't able to do you know 15 20 years ago never mind 30 40 50 60 years ago this was you know just a pipe dream for somebody but 
I think it's great. I think it makes us all better plumbers. And uh, it just, you get to see a lot. You get to hear a lot. And uh, I we poke fun. I think as a group, we're a bunch of funny guys. And we get off on fucking poking the bear. Uh, so, anyways, have a good evening. Have a great Saturday. Enjoy your families and friends. I'm going to go get me a pizza and a salad. All right, guys, have a good one.